Hey everyone, it's Amy. So today I wanted to film a look for you guys and this is kind of a simple, natural, go-to look that I use, um, that I wear quite often. And I added a little bit of a liquid liner to make it look a little bit more put together. Um, my husband and I are gonna run some errands later today and so I wanted to look presentable <laughs> for that. So yeah, so if you are interested to see how I got this look, then keep watching. The first thing I am doing is grabbing my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream and using my fingers to blend this all over my face. I like this BB Cream for when I just want sort of a light coverage or just to even out my skin tone a little bit. However, it does seem to leave my face a little bit greasy just around my nose and on my forehead a little bit throughout the day. That's the only thing I don't really like about this BB Cream. Other than that, it does a fine job. For my eyeshadow, I am using the M Cosmetics by Michelle Fan. On, and I'm using the Seoul Sweets Shade Play Palette. The first color I'm going to take is that highlight color and it's kind of a champagne-y shimmery color. I'm just sweeping that kind of all over the lid but I'm focusing on the inner third the most. I'm also sweeping this right under the brow bone as a slight highlight. The next shade I'm using is that kind of light brown color. It's just a couple shades lighter than my skin tone, so I'm just using this to define my crease a little bit. So just sweeping this in a windshield wiper motion right into my crease and a little bit above. The next color I'm using is this light gray color, and I'm sweeping this on the outer third of my eyelid in sort of that outer V shape and just blending this out as much as I can. For the majority of this eye look, I'm just using the same fluffy blending brush. I think it's a Sonia Kashuk one that I got at Target. The less brushes that you can use for the eye look, it just makes things simpler and a lot quicker as well. To define the lash line a little bit more, I'm taking this matte black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and I'm just sweeping this as close as I can to the lash line on the top and bottom and about the um, outer half of the lid is all that I'm doing. To help blend that out a little bit more, I'm just taking that same fluffy brush and I'm just sweeping that over that dark black eyeshadow just to soften it up a little bit. Obviously just repeat the same thing on both eyes and that's just what I'm doing here. Just making sure everything looks really nice and blended and even. Now you can't really see the name of it, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Liner and I love this thing so much. So I'm just taking this and doing a thin line all across my lashes and doing a little bit of a wing, but I don't want to go do like a crazy cat eye or anything like that, so I'm just doing a real slight wing as you can see here. Here I am just connecting everything to the bottom lash line and making sure everything looks good and even. And to save you guys from just having to watch me keep doing this for forever, I did the other eye off camera as that's the one I always tend to struggle with as well. All right. 
For my waterline, I'm using the Stila Smudge Stick Eyeliner in the color Angelfish. This is just a really nice light champagne color just to help brighten up that waterline a little bit. I'm also using that same color in my inner corner and underneath on my bottom lash line just a little bit also to help brighten things up and highlight. Next I'm using another L'Oreal Infallible but this is their pencil liner and I'm just using this to connect the bottom lash line to that wing a little bit. This is something that I like doing just to make it look a little bit more finished. Now off camera I cleaned up underneath my eye a little bit in case there was any fallout and now I'm just using the Maybelline Instant Dark Circle Eraser and using that just like it says I'm erasing my dark circles with it. Um, I'm just using this in an upside down triangle shape underneath my eye to brighten up that whole area and I'm also sweeping this on the bridge of my nose and on my chin a little bit. For my lashes today, I'm using the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara. This is a little sample size that I got in my Ipsy subscription this month. And I'm just using this as mascara, as that's what it is. Um, but I, I don't mind this mascara. I, it's fine, but I hate the brush. I just feel like I have to work with it a lot to get it to look the way that I want it to. And... That's just my own preference. I prefer a much fluffier brush and this one has very few bristles on it and it has that weird ball thing on the end which I just personally struggle with. Cheeks, I'm using a MARC blush in Cameo Glow. I just wanted a really nice natural neutral pink blush and that's exactly what this color is so it is really pretty but the staying power on this blush is not very good and I don't even think you can get it anymore. It's kind of one that I've just had sitting around, but it was the color that I wanted, so I used it. So any neutral pink color um, will do. Finally, on my lips, I'm using the Meet Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick by The Balm, and this is the shade Committed. This is the one, the little sample size that I got in my Ipsy bag. This is just a nice neutral, nudie, mauve color. Um, I guess, I don't know, it doesn't look mauve on camera, but it kind of looks mauve-y in person. Um, it's just a nice nude color. Alright, here is the finished look for you guys. This is something that is a nice everyday look that looks put together but is still pretty natural. I think it looks really nice and it's perfect just for running errands, going to the store, doing everyday sort of things. And here I am doing a little spin for you guys. I just did my hair up in one of those half up buns and just left the rest of my hair my natural texture. I hope you liked this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching!